Hey Spen, hit us with an intro. Oh, hey. Um, what's up Sky Edge TV viewers? Thank you very much for joining us with the boys out here. We're heading out to beautiful region eight in British Columbia, Canada. We've got some whitetail. Stick around for the ride, it's gonna be a lot of fun. See you out there. Little update, we're here in Kelowna. We got our food and everything. And then Fuck. generally every year I like to get a bag of mixed trail mix. I went a little overboard on it. This is three, almost three kilograms, approximately 40,000 kilojoules of energy. And I think it's like $45 worth. That's, that's another story. Okay. And uh, the boys are in place. We're gonna set up camp. Probably have a few drinks, sight in the rifles, and get on the fucking scoreboard. It's gonna be a good weekend. Stay tuned. Getting all set up, then we're gonna get out for an evening hunt, but we gotta be fast. It's starting to get dark. I think I got the wrong tool. This is, that one's a shorty. I'll use that for the stove pipe. Okay, we got the camp set up, and we're heading out for an evening hunt. Still, let's do it. Yeah. I'll put my helmet on in a minute. Safety second. So I got off the quad and I'm walking quietly through the forest. It's just about last light. I'm gonna find a good spot to sit and wait. Anyways, I'm super excited to be up here. That was a long drive, but we're in a good spot now. And I hope that somebody can get lucky this weekend and get a deer. I'd love it if Chad or one of my brothers got a deer. That'd just be so cool. So, pretty excited. And of course, I still got a tag. So, you never know. Let's go. Me and Spen here, kind of sitting up on a high feature. I think Spencer saw one take off when we we're coming up the hill, but we're just hanging out here. Chad's over that distance, about 500 meters. Hey, 
Okay, so <clears throat> my brothers and I and Chad, we all kind of split up this morning and we're all kind of just still hunting different sections of the forest. So walking along really quietly, stopping, sitting. Sometimes I'll use my rattle or my little doe bleat and I try to bring something in. Super nice though. I'm having fun. I just heard a gunshot too, so I'm hoping it's one of them. Some little, nice little hair popped out and, you know, we needed to get on the scoreboard so I popped him one, but it was, it's not a pretty kill, but we, we, we cut him up and we're going to eat him back at camp. Hopefully Chad and Skylar like that. Uh, we'll catch you in a bit. Guys, I'm really hoping to see a deer soon. Feels like I'm doing everything right, so just a matter of time. Update. So I'm walking down the trail and I notice this nice rub right here that got me interested. And then a few seconds after I noticed it, I heard some brush snapping. So I quickly took this little thing and then I saw a tail flick and a little spike buck made his way all the way up the hill and he came up right there. He's probably only 15, 15 yards. Anyways, I already shot that nice four point mule deer this year and I'm really only meat hunting now. So he came so close that he kind of left me no choice. So I shot him right behind the front leg and he ran down the hill. So I'm actually gonna give him a little bit more time, hang out here, kind of soak it all in. And then uh, I'm gonna link up with my brothers and Chad and we're gonna go try to find this little guy. Okay, so I haven't started following any blood trail yet. I'm actually just trying to pick up the shot site. So I'm looking for my first signs here. And I've noticed some hair. Hair on the tracks. So a little bit more there. So I still haven't seen any blood. Just the hair from the shot site. It's crazy. Uh, I've been looking for like half an hour for blood, haven't seen it, but there's hair. So unless I just grazed him point blank range, he's hit. So I see some heavy tracks. And this is right where I saw him go. He just took off like a bullet straight down the hill. So this makes sense, but I wish I saw some blood. So I'll just keep following him. And I should add, it's been about 45 minutes. So he should be dead. Okay. I think I see him. Yep, there's a white-tailed deer laying down at the bottom of the hill. So crazy, no blood, but... We'll go have a look and we can see where I hit him, but there's something laying bottom of the hill. Whew, that's a pretty big relief. It's a pretty bad feeling thinking that maybe you wounded an animal and you won't find it. The highs and lows of hunting, but I found him, so I'm pretty excited about that. My brothers are on their way up from the bottom of the hill, and hopefully they can help me uh, haul him up. Fuck, I just bumped him. He wasn't dead. He's hurt and he ran down. Fuck, I gotta give him some more time. Fuck. So it's been 30 minutes since I bumped him. And I've, I found his little bed and there's a little bit of blood, but not much. Um, I was, I waited longer and then I got moving again and there's no blood and there's hardly any tracks like he's just walking away now and then I bumped him again and he just took off down the hill and I didn't see where it went I just kind of heard it and so I had a, another look and I've been walking around for an hour and a bit 
my brothers are down the hill looking as well but I, I it's a pretty bad feeling like I know I hit him there's hair and there's a, just that little bit of blood and that's all I saw the whole time so I, I don't know so I'm, just, I'm you know I'm walking out of here now I'm got my fingers crossed I'll run into him but he's mobile he's moving and he can't just walk down a deer in the forest with no sign nothing to follow so a little bit upset about that it sucks Update for the Sky Edge viewers. Day two, night hunt. After a bit of a emotional roller coaster of a day, we're out here again. <laughs> we got Kyle. We got gorgeous Chad, and uh, we're following behind Skyler and ATV. So we're gonna set up uh, shop, and hopefully we can get ourselves a uh, whitetail this time around. Stay tuned. We're at the top of this hill. There's like a fork, and we park there, and then Chad goes to the right, and we go kind of up. Beautiful morning, but I don't see any fire here. So I slowly hunted my way back to the spot where I shot the spike buck yesterday and no additional blood and I haven't been able to turn him up yet. I'm kind of just walking grids in the area, hoping to find him, but I don't think I will. I think that he's mobile. I think I just skimmed him. I don't know how, but I think I just skimmed him. So hopefully he is okay. I feel pretty bad about it. But... Uh, <clears throat> that's hunting that's uh, the tough part about it but it kind of sucks but I'm going to keep looking and just hunt this area and maybe I'll turn them up but probably not I'm here doing a top of the mountain stalk with the channel creator there he is we just bumped a, a doe and two fawns I had them in the crosshairs but shoot those fucking things but hopefully we'll see one over this next hill so it's our last evening hunting so Kyle and I are sitting on the hill until dusk and Spencer and Chad went that way it's pretty nice really nice area Definitely a nice way to spend an evening. Well, if you're wondering how the rest of our hunting trip went. Well, the boys are at McDonald's, so that's pretty much a good disclaimer for how the trip went. Well, thanks for stopping along to uh, see how we did on the trip, and uh, bye. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it, and we'll see you next time.